So you guys got here for the most disgusting thing you've ever heard in your entire life until next week. And then you hear that again. <laughs> the most disgusting thing you've uh, ever heard in your entire life. <laughs> or until you watch the next one. That's all I'm going to say. Because yeah. like, it feels like every time we do or just go on Reddit and be disgusted every day. So <laughs> I mean, that's like, me. I, I don't, I don't know, I'm never going to get over this. The people that be like, oh, 4 so bad. It's this, it's that. And then you just take like, No, 4 is bad. It's good compared to this. So it Depends what board you go on. Yeah, that's very true, I suppose. But like, let's 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 just see <laughs> how how bad this could this be? Do you think this is going to be bad? I think this is going to be. I haven't bad. read any of these. James <laughs> <Yeah>. has, <laughs> so he knows what I'm getting into. All right, let's just do this, will we? My female forty daughter sixteen lied about my boyfriend forty two acting inappropriately towards her. I can't look at her the same. Why can't you look at her the same? Oh, what's happened? Wait. Oh, lied about my boyfriend. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Three years ago, I had met the most amazing man. He had all the qualities in life that I was looking for and made me so happy. We'd gotten so close and even met each other's kids. Fast forward to October 2020. He had moved into your house one year prior to this and we had basically grown into one. Same friends, blended family and things were going great. My daughter wasn't prepared for the change and him bringing his kids in. They only stayed weekend. I wasn't sure what was happening, but I was destined to find out. In October, my daughter had told me the reason she didn't like my boyfriend, and it was because he touched and felt her up. Right, okay, okay. I was extremely horrified, and it was one of the worst days of my life. I kicked him out and threatened to call the police but my daughter did not want to press charges. The whole time he was telling me he didn't do anything, but I thought he was a scum liar. I told friends what he did to protect their children and make sure that they don't trust them. Word traveled extremely fast and it unfortunately included his two kids and school. They had been getting bullied because of their father's action and eventually all three of them moved out of the town and I'm not sure where. Everyone had turned on my ex-boyfriend. I was stunned by his vile actions and hurt for his two children that had to suffer from him being a POS, so I thought. My daughter had been acting different for months, and I assumed it was because she was relieved she finally told. No, two days ago she revealed that she had made everything up, possibly to free guilt. What does free guilt mean? I don't know. Is this one of these new, new speak terms? I don't know. Yikes. Why she did it? It was me and her for a long time, and she didn't want that to change. I couldn't bring myself to speak. I was just disgusted. I'm still disgusted. She ruined people's lives on purpose. It hurt even thinking about it. Issues that people actually suffered were used so that something could go her way. I don't know where to even begin. I'm at a complete loss right now. I want to apologise to them, the people that had a special place in my heart. I can't even look her in the eye. I'm extremely hurt, disgusted, confused, and all my trust has gone out the window. Well, that's just legion, just and let's be serious, <laughs> like, you know. But what do you do whenever your kid comes to you and says that? Yeah, it's such a horrible situation. I would take my, ki- I would take my kid's side. Yeah, what about but I think I would have asked more. And also, I think... No, because you- then I would... But the thing is, you, you can tell when people are dying. You just can. I think you can. Are you telling your kid? If yeah, you know exactly. Your kid, if, if you know anything if, about if, your child. You should, you should know your child yeah. a bit better than that. And you but should be still, able to tell. like, how can you... Like, what if it did happen and just by chance you think that they're lying? But then if you say that they're lying, they're never going to trust you again because they confided in you? Yeah, that's very true. Like, they're your kid at the end of the day. That's, that's a really hard one. It's a very hard it's a one. really hard but one. But also what you're all dead is, is completely... Disgusting, absolutely disgusting. Reprehensible to say that, absolutely. Disgusting what you've done. But, but, think of it like this. Her mom, in her 40s, is pushed on Reddit. What way is she brought up to believe... (laughs) What way is she brought up to believe that this is a... That this is the way to go through life like yeah um what brought you to this what point? brought you to this point cue the chris chan uh gino samuels oh is it any good i haven't caught up with it it's been so long i, I stopped know. watching about two three years ago i now. stopped watching like episode 42 or something yeah is it worth catching up on guys my girlfriend wouldn't have sex with me so i made her watch me masturbate it gets worse though it gets a lot worse. What? Like this is, I don't know, I think it's kind of mild. Like, you know, at the start, it's like, eh, uh, you know. Okay, like, I, okay let's, I mean, look, you, you guys just need to see. My girlfriend had been feeling sick for a couple of days, and as a result, had been denying my sexual advances. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, it's My not, guy? <laughs> I don't know, I'll just say, I know, I know you, you're dying of the flu, but you gotta stop it. <laughs> but anyway, look, let's, like, you wait till you hear how bad this is, this is insane. By the third day, I was getting fed up with constantly 
being shut down three days my guy and you're like this okay right so when we went to sleep that night i told her that if she wasn't going to have sex with me she could at least help me come right okay i told her i was going to jerk off the porn and she was going to watch i took out my laptop to play the porn and in a split second i had a terrible idea right what was the idea i don't know why i decided to do this (laughs) but i pulled up a saved video i had of me and an (laughs) ex-girlfriend That's a, that's next Cause level. Cause of three days? Oh my. <laughs> that's next level. God. Why does he still have the video? <laughs> On one hand, it's so comically a bad idea. It's almost space. No, it's not. But no, it's, it's so fucking bad. not. Yeah, it's so bad. It really is. I pressed play and put the laptop in a place that we could both see. Now, it took her a few seconds to realise what was on the screen, but the second she did, she went all quiet. She tried to look away, but I kept yelling at her <laughs> to look at me look while at me. I jerked off. Look at me. I finished in a towel. Look at my eyes. I finished in a towel and went to sleep. I don't know why I did it, but I've since deleted all the old pics and videos I had of my exes, and I feel terrible that I did this to my girlfriend. You don't say, my guy. (laughs) You don't say. That is next. That. Oh my god. Yeah, that's 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 a bit of a bad one. Like flip that. Flip that. I know that's so that's so messed Flip up. That. It is. It's messed up to say the least. It's probably one of the worst. Like, that is. Like, what do you do? Oh, my head is pounding. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. How do you not get into an instant argument over that? Is that Samantha? Me? Yes. <laughs> Look at Watch me. me. Watch me. <laughs> Look into my eyes, look into my eyes, look into my eyes. Ooh, don't look that's like... ridiculous. Yeah, that's next level. I don't have anything else to say on that. Oh. Well, what do you think, guys? <laughs> I uh, oh. Honestly, that's, that's... Oh, fuck, I don't have words for that, man. So this one here, we don't have what... We don't have the, the original... what it's referring to, like what the context is. So... But I'm just going to read it. Right. James says it's good. You'll see. Okay, so... Guy was beating off in the only stall and I had diarrhea. Imagine a third party walking in on this spectacle. Might as well drop, try, start spinning, and make a piss nando, piss nido <laughs> at that point. Well, how, like, what, what happens when you, like, guys, I really just need a jacket in, well, you guys don't get it. Why? No, guys, I, it's, it, look, it's part of my sexual identity to jacket <laughs> in a, I identify as a public toilet. It's my kink. <laughs> do, you do not kink shame this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you identify as a public toilet is kink shame. <laughs> <laughs> Even though some people do identify as public toilets. Right. What sucks is that everyone observing the scene would have a fucked up opinion of you all just because of a snapshot of your lives out of context. Yeah, it's, no, it's totally out of context. Yeah, it's totally guys. out of context. I'm jacking right? it in a public bathroom, but it trust me, it's really out of context. You don't, guys don't get it, okay? <laughs> this, is, this, like, this is part of who if I am. If someone saw me at my lowest when I was addicted to porn, they'd write me off too. I was using my parents' credit cards to pay for private shows and cam girl. They don't know this yet. When I won an hour-long Skype role-playing show with my favourite model, who I was convinced I was going to marry because she laughed at all my jokes, and I felt her laughter was genuine, along with two other members. (laughs) The private one, but along with two other people. Look, guys, uh, (laughs) you know. The problem was, the problem was that my internet was running like shit, and I found out it was because my mum was using her laptop to watch a live stream of her sister's funeral. She died back in England, and my mum couldn't make it home. Even though my mum was sobbing, I just angrily demanded she turn off her computer, and when she refused, I screamed, Fuck you! (laughs) I picked up her laptop and threw it at the brick fireplace base, then grabbed my laptop and ran and locked myself in the background while trying to ignore my screaming parents. I had calm to calm, so the look on the model's face as she heard the screaming and pounding on the door as I repeated screaming, not listening, I fucking hate you all, la 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 la. la. Oh my god. While angrily beating off was fucking priceless. <laughs> I ended up passing out and had to be taken to hospital. What? I'd, I'd been on the I'm tail end. Le- no, let- I'd been on the tail end of a thirty-hour beat-off marathon. Apparently, I had almost died. <laughs> <laughs> After an interview with a psychiatrist, I was put in a mental institution for five months. But I'm all better now, and I have a good job, and I'm engaged to a beautiful woman, and things couldn't be better between me and my folks. But if someone were to watch a vid of me of that night of my freak out, they would wrongly conclude that I am an unsalvageable ass. Well, how did you how did you go from being in in an institution? 
institutionalized being engaged within five months. How did that happen? Well, I d- no, it's no, he was he was institutionalized for five months. Oh, right, okay. And no, he's right. talking about okay. Skype, so I'm going to assume this was like maybe. Yeah, like, but how, when was this posted though? Uh, it says three days ago, but who knows how old the post is. Yeah, exactly. So. Um, it could, I'm going to assume this, this here. When he's I bet talking your, about. your uh, fiance doesn't know about this. <laughs> Could he put it all that like where the, the fiance is mom, the model? I don't care. The fiance is the I, model, I, I, and he's like tied her up, hug tied her, and like <laughs> brought her into the house. Megan, you don't get it right. Just because my auntie died does not mean my mum gets to grieve. It's Whenever jacking I need time. To, it's jacking. It's jacking. It's, it's jacking time. time. <laughs> <laughs> it's jacking time. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> he t- like, I, I, the only thing is, I do think this is probably more fake because, okay, this is a question. What are, what are you guys going to have to take it for the team? Are any of you going to attempt a 30-hour ja- 30-hour marathon? We'll give you a survey. <laughs> yeah. Fill in the survey after. <laughs> what did With you feel like? Hands, did, did you have to go to hospital? So, I don't know if you know this, but we've got a website with lots of models. And whenever I say lots of models, I mean lots of models. We've got models for any setting that you can think of. With humans with biddies, animals that shouldn't have biddies but do have biddies, dwarves and elves with biddies. Look, we've got a lot of smut models. But it doesn't stop there. We really do have models for anything and everything. And to be honest, they look so good. Chef's kiss, so good. But it's not all smart for all you good Christian Minecraft server players. We've got you covered. And we even got the weebs covered too, which is unusual for this channel because we don't <laughs> like weebs. <laughs> yeah, the weebs aren't that bad. Are they? we, also- just that bad. <laughs> we also have 5th edition subclasses and adventures, which some of them are free for download. And we sell a physical printed copy of Steel Water as well. And you can request a signed version, if that's your thing, where I'll draw a penis on it for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, hey, if you want you know, us to sign a couple want, decks, that's we, we'll, what you we'll, want. We'll give you decks, okay, guys? That's, that's what you anyway, want. Anyway, if you enjoy what we do here, go ahead and check out the website. It helps us out so, so much. And we don't need to worry about our YouTube overlord striking down another one of our channels. Our website is also now available as an app on Android. Also, and the winner of the daily giveaway is this guy. Yay! Woo! <laughs> Look, anyway, uh, in for a chance to win, all you got to do is like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, automatically entered in. And to claim the prize, you just send an email to neckbeardycontact at gmail.com. Let's go back to the video. My wife and I confronted our kids about their affair. Their. Their. Their affair? Their. I don't know if it counts as an affair, though. What do you mean? Well, let's just, let's just see. I don't think it counts as an affair. It's... And the fair implies cheating, though. Yeah. Right. right let's I see. posted over a week ago about how I know my son and daughter are so, oh, so are how, sleeping so with I, each other. I don't other. think that's the right terminology. No. Just putting that out there. And today, I would like to give an update to the situation. And you think this is going to get this is going to get so much worse quicker than you guys could oh ever my imagine? God, no. I first had a long discussion with my wife about what to do. We both knew for a while and had decided to let it continue. What? But we had not talked about it in months. After some discussion, we realised that we both find it a ra- <laughs> You thought it wasn't going to get worse, didn't you? you oh didn't, my- Megan, you didn't think it was going to get worse, but then it did get worse. We both find it arousing that our kids are together, but we were both too embarrassed to admit it to each other. So that was pretty awkward. We decided that we would tell them we know and that we would be 100% supportive supportive of their relation. The talk was not as hard as expected. We laid out before we admitted we knew that they were not in trouble and that they could continue and we were supportive of, supportive of them. They looked so red, it was as if we had caught them in the act. But after they calmed down, we had a long and serious talk. In the end, we earned, we learned that they are using every birth control method imaginable on their own. I cannot explain how proud of I, I am <laughs> for that. Oh. And Way that, to go, guys! I can't. Oh. oh my god! And that they haven't been with anyone else except each other. So see, not an affair. <laughs> we agreed. If that makes it any better, it's not an affair, though. We agreed to let them move into the same room and that they can be open about their relationship at home. The dynamic of our family life has changed a lot over the last few days, and I'm curious to see how it will continue to. Have- <laughs> Oh, <laughs> just let me off. <laughs> just so how so uh, the I'm thing is, I'm looking up a tutorial on how to tie a noose. <laughs> oh. 
So, uh, yeah, uh, definitely, I'm, I'm so proud of my kids. You know, oh. I'm so proud. I've, I've, I've actually, I've raised the perfect... no place I can't talk about this, this actually. <laughs> no, but I, I think of how well, I'm, like, let's let's put ourselves in their shoes. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, first of all, it's so hot though. Are you, are you, do you think it's hot? No, it's no, it's not. It's super it. hot though. And also, uh, you know, they're, they're using it. So they're, it's really good, isn't it? It's really good. Do you think, do you think we can listen sometimes? Oh, Jim, stop it. But, yeah, that's honestly what they're fucking doing. Uh... Let's be serious. Let's be serious. And you know the thing is, the only reason how no, they I already have... had a sore head before I started this, Megan, and my head only... is literally going to fall out my ass. The only way they could have known about it is if they heard about it. They heard it going on. This is going to send me in a migraine. No, that, no, <laughs> thinking that's, about this. I can't that, do this. That's the, that's the only reason how both of them could have found out months ago. They must have heard each other. They must have heard them. And that's like, oh, it's, it's James, hot. please, stop, stop, <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh, my God. This, oh. Uh, I told you this one was bad. Oh, that is ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, that's quite what it, it, uh, Normally, oh, it's, somebody phone, I don't know, CIA, FBI. <laughs> See, normally it's the cop ones Interpol. that make me the most disgusted, but I think there's a special place for the incest ones oh, that are next level. That's disgusting. You ready for some more? No. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the asshole for telling my sister's fiance about her past? How much of a hoe was she? Edit. <laughs> okay, I am the asshole. I accept that. However, I've seen no convincing arguments about why Josh doesn't deserve to know before getting married. And everyone here has just disregarded his feelings out of hatred for my actions. Fair enough. Given that, I don't regret my actions and I will do it again if she doesn't tell her future partners before getting married. I am an asshole, but, I, but a necessary asshole. Okay, so okay. how much right. of a hoe was she? I'm going to assume that's what's going on here. My sister, 30, is engaged to a guy, 33. Let's call him Josh. Josh is a very well-established guy, very nice to my sister and our family. He does a lot for us. Josh and my sister announced their engagement a couple of months ago at a family dinner. Obviously, everyone celebrated the news and has a great night, except for me. I took my sister aside later that night and asked her if she had told him about her past. My sister went through an extremely sex-positive phase in college and slept with easily over a hundred guys. We're twins, by the way, so always been close. She said it didn't matter. It was the past, etc. Fair enough, it shouldn't matter, but I think Josh deserves to know this before he marries my sister. Not every man is comfortable with marrying someone with such an extensive list of past sexual partners. Who gives a shit? I think, you know the problem is, I think the reason why she did tell him is because she's probably jealous. Yeah, 100%. But at the same time, you know. Uh, no, look, she's settling down with a fellow who gives yeah, a fuck. Yeah, I suppose it was. She's chose ten, him. Yeah, it was, it was over, over 10, ten years ago. ago. Like, if you're looking at college and they're She's chose him, who cares? Yeah, okay, well, look, let's keep going. Let's see what else they have to say. So, anyway, I tell her if she doesn't tell him, I will. I give her a month. She doesn't tell him. Meanwhile, they're going full steam ahead planning the wedding. I give her one last chance. A few more weeks to come clean. She doesn't. So I told Josh all I knew about her sexual past. He thanks me, but doesn't take the news well. Apparently my sister has been presenting herself as a sexually shy kind of girl. Edit, she lied and said he was her third sexual partner. Okay, oh, no, wow. no, that's... Mm, I'm going to say... Yeah, no, mm. no, no. Like, you can't. don't say like in the home. Okay. Say like, oh, I've slept with like 20, 20 people. <laughs> okay, first of all, I don't. you shouldn't be getting involved with other people's business regardless. I just don't I, do, I just don't think you should it sounds like a horrible like not a horrible sister but it sounds like a very no it's a horrible yeah, sister it is a horrible sister but it sounds like a very will be the right word for it she sounds very oh jealous I yeah. think jealous would be, jealousy yeah. or envy would be the best way to describe it let's keep going how, how, how bad does this turn but out? yet again she shouldn't she shouldn't have said that she oh, should, you're only I my just third don't think should, I don't think you should get involved with other people's I know but yeah and the sister uh, shouldn't have said you're only my third unless, like, unless, unless the only time you should get involved is if you're a Trump supporter and uh, <laughs> your you're, and, and there's some like uh, Swayland looking, you know, pump your load <laughs> into this absolute psycho yeah. fucking crazy hoe, uh, which so, again, I, I still wouldn't even recommend though. No. But it might make for funny, <laughs> funny <laughs> videos. But send the story to us, not really. Yeah. Edit, she lied and said that he was her third sexual partner. Completely yeah, blindsided yeah, no, that's, him. I, no, you shouldn't be... She, that's, that's a bit low. That is fucking... He's put the wedding on hold and hasn't spoken to my sister for several days. Says he needs time alone to think. As you can imagine, everyone in my family is blaming me for ruining my sister's wedding. I guess I kind of did. Josh's family is kind of neutral though. They're obviously offering Josh emotional support and thanking me for my honesty. Am I the asshole? Yes. Um, yeah, you are, but again... Once again, it isn't, it isn't information that Fella needed to know. 
no, it's not. It's not vital information for God's sake. If I don't know, and like, if like like they were happy enough to get married, who yeah, cared? Yeah, they were happy enough. Yeah, I suppose that's the problem. Who isn't gives it? a shit how many guys you yeah. slept with in the past? I wouldn't give a fuck how many girls a fellow slept with in the past because at the end of the day, he's dropped down to you on a knee to me. Yeah, I'm that's the one true. he's true. Same with the girl. He's she's the one. Yeah, that's she's very true. Down with. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. I, don't know, I would be more on the end of I just don't think she should have got involved exactly she shouldn't fucking I just, get I involved don't, in I don't it. think you should be uh, involved if the sister in... wanted to tell him that's down to her yeah if she wanted to tell him or not she no wonder she didn't fucking tell but him because she, she wouldn't she, he wouldn't have went with her but she, but she shouldn't have lied and said oh it's like two or three yeah well she should have said that, it was that, like twenty you know what I mean like, I, th- I think everyone's kind of a blame in this situation to be honest yeah but still yeah it's, it's their relationship uh, they were happy enough to get married Who she had no no right to step yeah. in like that yeah unless I, I, like I, she knew that her sister was actually cheating on him yeah i think and stuff yeah. like that was different yeah that would be and like before they got married she said it to him yeah but she wasn't yeah I could this was that. in her past over 10 years ago in college yeah yeah I just suppose, because yeah. she probably didn't get any game in college and her sister got it all i, th- I think that's probably what it is and she had a horrible I, time I, in college I, I, I and had no friends either that or she just didn't go all together and she's very jealous of that exactly i i i, I honestly and her think, sister was a popular twin i i yeah got all the guys <laughs> he was a pretty twin yeah there's always a pretty twin let's be serious yeah it's fact it's fact it there's always fact. a well if there's not always a pretty one there's always a prettier yeah 100 percent. That, that's 100 percent. and normally i'm the one being bigoted towards women <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, um, that's a good point. I, look, and I'm supporting. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually a good point. Like, no, come on, no, just... I don't like females. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's let's finish this off on some absolute thirst, will we? Hello. <laughs> You have a very beautiful looking butthole there. Can I please sniff your butthole and kiss your butthole and lick your butthole too? Do not make this into a sound bite. <laughs> please Somebody's come. ringtone. Oh my god, it's gonna be garbage. Please. <laughs> Uh, what's Garpoo's one? No bacon. So everyone keeps something a- like that. Everyone keeps asking that. Who's uh, the little girl locked in the basement? <laughs> like Garpoo's like Garpoo. Oh my god, he walks around wearing like what are you Silver Moon T-shirts? Yeah. You know what I mean? I think you guys need to understand that with Garpoo, okay? Anyway, look. his next one's gonna be me going. You have a very beautiful looking bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it is. Please. I really want to smell your anus and heal your anal pheromones and <laughs> scent and literally kiss your anus and lick your anus right now. I want my nose, lips and tongue to go deep in your rectum and smell that smell and taste your deliciousness. I love sniffing, kissing and licking females' anuses. Same. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. Honestly, like we're going to end it there so we're all absolute thirst. That's ridiculous. I mean, that, I think that's up there with the Vaporeon one. Do you know the... Remember the last one we did? And there was like the the Avatar one? Oh yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? It's yeah. apparently that, that's a creepypasta. Oh, not a creepypasta. Creepy, but man, fucking <laughs> it's, it's a creepypasta. <laughs> it's a copy. It's a copypasta from uh, Vaporeon from Pokemon. So, you know, there you go. Um, do we do any cop bombs this time? No, we didn't. We didn't. Funny. <gasps> the, the, I, did, I did have one. 2023 is in a year for us. <laughs> I think I do have one cock one sitting there, but we'll save that for next time, will we? Because uh, you know you gotta gotta give it a break. Gotta time. give it a break. Let yeah, new no, cocks no. arise. <laughs> you know, I don't eyes. know. <laughs> oh my god, why is there so many of them? See, the problem is, I think are the... we feeding the cock community though? Because they like to be humiliated. So oh like, my god. do they watch us and then they're like, no, oh, fuck Megan, you. don't, no, don't. Are we fuck part? Fuck of... yeah. Are we part of the machine? Are we? Well, I hope so because then we get more stories. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, Any cocks watching out there? Send us your. Um, no, not send us your. No, bill. don't send, us send your anything. Bill stories? <laughs> yeah. I don't do, know. Do, is, is your bull HIV positive? Is your bull a Trump supporter? <laughs> yeah. Please let us know. Please out. let us know. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, um, I don't really have any words. Yeah, I'm going to end this video now. <laughs> um, before it gets any worse. Before we get really weird emails. <laughs> yeah. Please don't. Look, it's me that it leads all the emails, guys. Please don't. <laughs> It's me that handles the emails. Actually, just don't. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, that's the end of the video. Check um, out the links, everything down below. Anything you want to say, James? Oh, anything going um, on? The uh, Royal Mail is still 
Um, oh yeah, it's still fucked. It's still fucked at the minute. So if you've ordered anything, it's um, it's getting like it's all getting back. Well, you will get it eventually. It's packed and all, and ready to go. Yeah, but like, I've got tons. can't do anything about it, my um, guys. We can only send stuff to UK and Ireland at the minute. It's an absolute nightmare, and we're about halfway through packing all of the Kickstarter boxes, which is not bad going because if you think about it, so let's do. Sorry, I just re- realized there was really heavy breathing there. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you think about it so if it takes us five minutes start to finish on one package to sign it get everything sorted out on it all the people working on well, that chat that's not five minutes that's well let's say, let's say let's say between three to five let's say tops five because some of them some of them are signed some, some of them aren't it just depends anyway let's, let's say three well let's say five tops how many of them can you do an hour then you're only gonna get 60 no that's 60 minutes 30 no Megan I didn't pass that <laughs> look that's that's 12 an hour it's 12 and then... Aussie's gonna be so <laughs> fucked when it comes to that <laughs> So we've got twelve. So if you can, if you're t- doing like twelve, that's that's a long one. So they're, they're like ones with like pictures and diddles and all that type of stuff. They do yeah. take longer. So if you think about it, it's still going to take as well. Um, but like hopefully by the time we get everything packed and ready, um, Lil Mill will be fixed and we can send it all again. Um, pff, it's just a bit of a nightmare. Uh, I okay. know, I know. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, but... Um, but you know, if you want, you can still order stuff off us, and, and it'll come as a little surprise. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's the thing. So. Um, um, but I like, hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know if you can enjoy this enjoy video. This or not. Um, hope. <laughs> See you guys later, I suppose. Yeah, bye. All those moments of lost time.